Hi fellas, David here. Uh, quick review tonight. This is my sizer, uh, not the one before. I'm going to experience it. Um, you guys can share it with me, other than taste, you can see, and uh, just see what I think of it. 8.9%. Very, very clear in the bottle, as most of these mead based drinks I have done. Um, there's that many rackings of them, it's every two or three weeks until you've got very, very little sediment in the bottom. And then a uh, bottle, and so I did from 6 to 12 months, and I think he's getting on for 6, 6 to 8 months, off the top of my head. Uh, right, did it from his cracking book, Homebrew, there's one that's got wines, cider, as I showed you before, uh, beers, um, sizer. A mellow mel is a blend between honey as a source of fermentable sugar and the fruit juice. Sizer uses apple juice. This is a mix of sugars from the apple juice and honey. The apple juice in this recipe is assumed to have an OG of 1055. I think mine was something like 1044 off the top of my head. Before being mixed with the rest of the water and honey. Right. Um, ingredients. Two and a quarter litres of water. 900 grams of honey. Two and a quarter litres of apple juice. Freshly pressed, I actually used um, from concentrate, which says recommended not to use that here, but I know I've used that. A teaspoon of yeast nutrient and a teaspoon of yeast, and I've mentioned it before. Uh, there's not much nutrients in the um, honey, so you need it to uh, add up the nutrients. So uh, let's crack it open and have a look. So it's 8.9%. Found a mill bottle. Just for you, Andy, that one. Right. After. Let's pour and have a look. Cheers. Again, it's not been carbonated this. Um, let's see the style. Do you believe? So what have we got there? Strange that was not as clear in the glass as in the bottle. So it tastes test for a special someone. Yeah, quite hazy that. Um, carbonation is not there, which I didn't expect it to be. Um, <coughs> bad. High strength alcohol again. Honey coming through, but it just smell like remnants of a cider. Um, so you bad. Um, so cheers and uh, get stuck in. Interesting. A bit of sweetness on the front is dry on the aftertaste. High alcohol legs. 8.9%. Nothing like me braggart, but to me it's. So it's almost as potent, a little bit sweeter, but you couldn't uh, have the two next to each other. I would never have said one was four, <coughs> four or five percent stronger than the other one. So yeah, and once the rest of it, I'll put it up. Decent drink, almost tastes like a very a strong scrumpy, like a a flat cider. But yeah, pretty decent. Um, so, shows a little bit of what else I've come up with as well. Um, I've been loads of people at the moment uh, doing brew in a bag. Uh, Steve Molson, I know, um, GI Fry, and a few other guys uh, picked this up. This is the UK, this is Aldi. Um, See there, if you pick it up there. It's a 12 litre stock pot, very well made, um, robust handles. Um, yep, so just uh, great for a small batch of beer. Um, you'll see there, I did a print, I lost a label, so I uh, printed off. Um, 
capacitor mines on the inside which I've shown, is soft grip handles, suitable for all stove tops, including induction, because it's got a uh, gas electric induction, glass ceramic and dishwasher safe. So uh, yeah, £20 at the moment in Aldi. If you can get them a little bit cheaper, they might be a sale on, but it's a um, fantastic looking um, pot that. It's only really small, it's 12 litre. So you could get two and do yourself a full batch or just the one and use it. Um, one for sparging, if you have the one, and use the fermenting bucket uh, to empty out your original wort and do the sparge for a small litre. But other than that, you could put two 12 litre ones on, and you probably get eight, um, 19. Perhaps 18 or 19 litres for a full batch of beer. So, uh, yeah. Nothing fancy. There's no, there's no taps or anything like that. Just on your stove top. Induction if you have it. I don't. Um, I know my stove, anything more than 14 or 15 litres, I do struggle to bring to the boil. Um, I did get a pot off eBay a while back. It was 19 litre capacity. I actually get 17, but <coughs> I mean, it does struggle to bring it to the boil. I know Steve Molson's had the same problem this week um, with his pot, so I'm going to do smaller batches. Um, I've got an electric boiler, the garage, hopefully. At the time this uh, Easter weekend coming up, I'm going to put a full batch of beer on, get a few grains. I've got all the yeast, specialty grains, something like that. So, uh, I'll leave it with you guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your homebrew Wednesday videos, and uh, I'll catch you later. Cheers.